Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Studio Catio. Today we are creating a fake shaker card. I love all the Studio Catio little embellishments for shakers. However, sometimes they're a little bit difficult to make. We don't have the acetate, so I want to show you this way how to use a cover die to fake it. All right, for this you're going to be needing this cover die. This is called the Scallop Hearts cover, and it's absolutely beautiful, and I have pre-cut this and it's ready to go. Then new, in June 2019, we have the It's For Your Birthday stamp set. We're going to be using this Happy Birthday. We're going to be stamping it with some colors inspired by this speckled sprinkles. And this is an absolutely gorgeous set of sprinkles for shakers. And in this case, for a fake shaker, our color selections are based out of this. And last but not least, we have the balloon die. Let me show you this beautiful balloon die, also released 2019. And we are going to be doing some embellishments and we're going to send this off to our friends. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I have three balloons cut from the balloon die. And look how pretty that is. It is really a detailed balloon with this die cut. And I have three inks. And like I mentioned, these were colors were inspired by the speckled sprinkle mixie. So with that being said, we're going to start uh, doing some distress oxide. You don't have to use distress oxides to create this. You can use any inks that you have. I am just going to use these because that's my favorite coloring medium or stamping medium. So we're going to start at the bottom of the balloon and then I'm going to blend up without grabbing any more color. And the reason why is that I want that gradient effect in my blending. And if you do need more color, you can just come down here and brush it up. All right, before that dries, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of water. I'm gonna splatter that or spritz, whichever you prefer. And I'm gonna set that aside while that does the interaction with the water, okay. We're gonna move on to our next color. So we're gonna be using Festive Berries and then I have my other color selection. I'm just gonna clean that off so we don't get any color mixing. So Festive Berries is red. It's kind of a pinkish red. It's quite, quite pretty. I'm gonna grab our blender again. And I'm actually gonna start at the top. And the reason why I'm alternating where I'm doing the shadow with these balloons is because they're gonna be layered on top of each other. And I don't want to lose that shadowing effect because of the layer. So I'm going to blend that just a little more. I'm going to add more to this edge, bring it down. And then on this one, I want bigger flickers, bigger little dots. So I'm going to remove and I'm going to flicker. And that way you get drops instead of little spritz. So we're going to do both techniques. The doing the, the spritz and then the the splatters and the the big drops do take a little longer to dry okay last but not least we have picked raspberry and this is just a gorgeous pink i'm gonna grab my color and i'm gonna start in the center and blend out towards the edges so no matter what way you do you start wherever you start you can get those different effects. All right, I'm just gonna be sure that this is nicely blended, especially with starting right in the center. Okay, and then on this one, I'm gonna spray or spritz. All right, I'm gonna give those guys some time to dry. Let me bring them in so you can see the different effects and how they look. So this one was sprayed, sprayed, and splattered. All right, we're gonna move on to our cover die. So let me tell you about this. So we are using the scalloped hard cover die and I have already ran it through my machine and it's ready to go. And I'm gonna leave this white. And the reason why is that I this is quite colorful. The sprinkles are gonna be quite colorful and I don't want it to get lost in all that color. I've added some foam adhesive to the back, just like you would with a regular shaker card. So I've added two pieces, top, bottom, and then side. And then we're gonna go ahead and center this. We're gonna center the cover die, and now you have it. 
So this would be what it would look like if you had some acetate on the back. All right, so for a fake shaker, I have some Nuvo Drops. You can use anything that is kind of, that is clear, that will dry clear. And I'm going to add the Nuvo to the interior of those hearts. And when you have a shaker, the stuff kind of sits on the bottom, right? So that is the same effect that we we're trying to do with the Nuvo. So we're adding the Nuvo, and like I said, it doesn't have to be Nuvo. You can use the clear sickles. You can use glue, uh, glue that dries clear. Then we're gonna come in, and I have my Studio Caddy tray. I love this thing. You can get that at studiocaddy.com, and I love it because it can hold your sequins and then you can put it back in the package or you can use it when you're using this technique, especially for this stuff to land back in there and then you can place everything back in the little baggie. So I'm gonna place some of these sprinkles, whoa, all over. That's okay if these fall on your tabletop, you can put them back in your little container and then you can put it back in your little baggie so there's not much waste really. Okay, all right, and so there you have the fake shaker. It looks like a shaker. It doesn't act like a shaker, but look how fun, and it's a really good way to use those little sprinkles from Studio Caddy. Okay, we are gonna clean this off and come back with our sentiment. All right guys, so this is nice and dry. Look how pretty that turned out. Now we're gonna move on to the sentiment. So I have my piece of cardstock and I have my stamp on my acrylic block. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the same colors that we used for the balloons and we're gonna do a really fun stamping technique where we're gonna use all three colors to stamp on this card. So we are gonna do the blue, which is that broken china. Let me put this over the white so you can see it. And then I'm gonna come in with that picked raspberry. And the reason I'm moving on to the pink and then to the blue is because that festive berries is a lot darker and it's gonna cover the pink. So when you blend those two, you're gonna get a little bit of a purple. It's gonna make a really pretty um, transition color. And then you're gonna come in and do the festive berries. Okay, so now we have our colors ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and stamp it on this piece of cardstock. And it doesn't matter where, and the reason why is that we're gonna come and we're gonna trim around it with my scissors. So you're gonna come in, we're gonna trim around the entire verbiage, and then we're gonna put foam adhesive on the back of this and place it on our card. All right guys, so that is nice and cut. It was super easy. I think it took me like 10 seconds. Then I added foam adhesive to the back. So we're gonna bring back our fake shaker with our beautiful little embellishments. Then we're gonna bring in our balloons. So I have put foam adhesive on the back of these guys too. We're gonna remove that backer. Then I, we're gonna place some of these on the back of the happy birthday. And we're gonna layer them on top of each other. Okay, and now you have a large sentiment um, embellished by these hearts. We're gonna remove the backing off that last one. Then look at it, it's completely full of foam and ready to be mounted and that way it's not gonna pop off. So we're gonna place it down and that doesn't. There's no need for additional embellishment since you have the faux shaker, you have embellishment from the water droplets and this is a really fun way to use some cover dies without having to make a shaker. And that does it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to click subscribe if you haven't yet. Get a thumbs up if you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Be sure to tag us. Stay tuned for more tutorials here on the Studio Academy channel. This is Crystal Thompson. Have a great day.